One of the things that I've written about is passion and kale. And the reason I've done that is because it's such a popular thing these days to hear about passion and kale. And I don't know what it is actually. It's something which I, I hear and I think, am, am I actually passionate about that particular subject? And for me, it, it, it sounds correct, but then it doesn't sound correct because the actual desire to, to be passionate only comes in the moment of the passion. Um, and then if, you've, if you feel passion for something, it could be romance, it could be artistic, music, you have a good vibe, and then you want to go back and repeat that process. Maybe you have a great meal in a restaurant one night, and, and you are, oh, I want to go back and, and have that same thing again. But it doesn't happen before you have the experience. It only happens after you've had the experience. So my point really is about passion and kale for that matter, because kale is a whole other subject in and of itself. But um, with passion, it's like, just, just do the, hey, the thing. Don't start mucking around and thinking that the passion's gonna come along and find you and make it happen. And, and with kale, what the heck's that about? It's just spinach or chard minced up. Um, and there's another one, uh, uh, you know, superfoods actually, uh, really, I think they're all, we're all getting ripped up by that. Just crunch up some nuts and stick them in your milkshake. Pretty much the same thing. Okay, I think I've made my point. Take it easy, talk to you later.